Hey guys, Kelly from Beginner Aquaponics here. I just wanted to give you an update. I finished my new system upgrade. As you can see there, I've got my system uh, actually draining right now. Uh, it's actually moving pretty good. But uh, yeah, so as you can tell, uh, my water reservoir that I had above ground it, uh, is now in the ground. I went ahead and dug this out last night and um, I did a few upgrades. One of the major upgrades on this I had done, hopefully you can still hear me, is uh, right there I put my pump in the ground and I got rid of some of that black irrigation tubing and went straight to uh, using one inch PVC on everything. Um, well, at least on the, uh, on the returns. Um, I found that I just needed the water flow and uh, uh, I needed uh, just a little bigger pipe. Uh, for that, so uh, let me show you the rest of the system and um, show you some of the new upgrades here. So, uh, real quick while we're down here, I made this is on my new grow bed, and this is actually a um, a sink drain. And I'll show you up top, and you'll know it'll look a little bit better. But uh, this is just uh, one, I think it's one and a quarter inch. Uh, clear tubing, we got it at Lowe's for like $3.12 and the reason I did that was I couldn't find a PVC pitting, fitting that would go from metal to PVC so I just used that clear tubing and I could see this running and all that wonderful stuff like this. It's not going to stay very clean very long but as you see here it's flowing, it's getting ready to fill up and uh, I'll pick you up here and uh, here's my new girl bed. Uh, this is about three and a half foot by six foot long um, it's actually closer to four I think it's three and three quarter feet long but um, anyways here's where you can see the drain again and uh, like I said that's just your standard bathroom sink drain uh, I got that for $2.99 um, I got a deal on it from the guy at Lowe's and uh, it wor it's working great I, I really like it it looks clean looks professional and the nice thing is it came with a little rubber gasket. I didn't have to find one. I didn't have to modify it. Uh, it just flat out worked. So, And you probably wonder what this other hole is. And that was, I drilled a hole for the drain to begin with, but uh, I ended up drilling right through my supporting two x four. Wonderful. So, um, and my threads weren't long enough to put the bolt on. So I ended up having to cut it out and move it over one more. So that's what that is. And uh, we'll come over here. And uh, here's my new fill system. Um, I've got three outlets here. And being, this bed being so wide, I decided that um, one wasn't probably going to be enough, so I went ahead and put three in. And uh, that just comes up here. And I've ran a one inch PVC pipe all the way through my old grow bed. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. And I put a little valve here, so when I open this up, I can let a lot of water out, or I can really slow this down and dial it in to do exactly what I want. And uh, since I don't have very many plants in here, and these are just plants that are in here that are temporary, I need to get them in the ground, or um, I think most of this is actually going in a grow bed. I'm going to see how it does. So, But anyways, I just have them there to keep the plants wet so they don't die or anything until I can figure out what I'm going to do with them. Um, but anyways, so, so that's what I got there. Then over here, I still got my floating bed, and these are some tomatoes. I've actually, um, they were part of a sucker plant, and I just cut them off. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I cut them off and poked a hole in here and just stuck them in. And these have been there for a day and a half, two days now. Uh, a couple of them are looking not so hot, but we'll see what they do. And all a sucker is is I don't think I have any on the, the bigger plants but you can see right there you got a little plant coming out and that's a sucker plant what you can do is break that off once it gets a little bit bigger and just cut them off and stick them in some dirt or some hydroponic um, water and uh, they should sprout another plant so um, but anyways so continuing on here here's my big upgrade um, as you can tell um, with this system here, let me get an overall, uh, this just flat out wasn't big enough uh, for 35 gallons, or it was too big for 35 gallons, excuse me. And um, that was really maxing out that 
system. Uh, it was not going to support this new grow bed. So what I did was I went up and got a 55 gallon drum and I put it on the stand. Now this stands four and a half feet tall and uh, what I have is this pipe right there is hooked up directly to my pump and it comes through here and I have it coming up here and then it goes up and I got a valve where I can turn this on and off and I'll show you why here in a minute but I got that going directly in to the bottom of the tank the tanks upside down and I just have it feeding in here and what I've done is I've put a piece of this black irrigation tubing um, in the bucket and what it does it plugs into this little I just I could cut it I put a slit in it and fold it in half and stuck it in this little fitting here on the inside so what it does it comes all the way up I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of water running right here and that's where that hose is which will allow the water to come all the way up here and the reason I did this was as you can tell there is uh, about 25 gallons of water in here and uh, my little pump is just not able to build enough pressure to pump all the way up so this removed the pressure on the pump and allowed it to continuously fill beyond that 25 gallon mark so um, the other thing I have done is right here I have added a faucet and the reason I did this was so I can drain the system so what I can do is I can turn this off and then I can open this up and I can drain my reservoir if I need to if I need to work on it or whatever I can do so but I can open that back up and this will continue filling it up from the pump and uh, I continue doing what I need it to do so on this other side here is my outlet and it's hooked up the exact same way as the fill but it just comes out here and right here let's see if we can get in here to see this uh, there we go. I've got a valve, just like I had at the other end, and it goes off into a little uh, elbow right there. And uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can control the water flow with that, uh, just like I can at the other end. But that goes all the way down here. You can kind of see it running all the way through the middle of the bed. And I could probably put this on the outside, but it was less fittings and cheaper to do it the other way, so that's what I did. So it just comes down here and fills in there. And uh, this this filled bed is completely filled by that pipe. Um, this float bed is the drain is filled by the drain off of this grow bed. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. It seems to be working all right right now, but I don't have very many plants in here to find out if I'm going to have an issue with nutrients or um, anything like that. So that's kind of an experiment that we're working on. And uh, if I need to, I can, I've got enough water pressure now um, due to the reservoir being added that I can just tap somewhere in in the middle and uh, put a T on it and then fill this up um, without having to take that drain. I can just put that drain over uh, into straight into the, that uh, reservoir. So uh, not a real big deal. Uh, like I said, it's still a learning curve. but. Uh, uh, that's the whole reason of these videos, to teach you guys uh, what I'm doing, how it works, and uh, what works and what doesn't. And uh, this way it saves you guys some money and, um, and you just kind of learn. So, but anyways, that's kind of my video update. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Uh, it's just facebook.com uh, forward slash beginner aquaponics. Um, don't forget to like us on there. We're always posting bonus content on there that I don't post on YouTube. Uh, so like us on there and get that content. Um, and uh, let's build that community and uh, help each other out and spread, um, spread the word. So uh, until next time, this is Kelly from Beginner Aquaponics.